Psyche Truth Massage This is Athena Jezik and we're going to do a demonstration of the neck and shoulders and a little bit into the arms today in a seated position for those of you who don't have a table. This area is an area that is takes so much of the stress so it's important to be able to work it. It's important to be able to help each other out with this too. Now when you're sitting in this get a chair without too high of a back, one that's fairly comfortable and then these there's about three or so pillows on here. There's a couple of round pillows. You just want to stack it up so that they feel comfortable enough that when they're leaning forward they can relax and for the head position you want to make it so that the chin is resting into here and not so much on the neck because that'll get uncomfortable so just make sure that everything is comfortable that way so that that they don't have to feel like they have to hold in any in any way it's it's all to be relaxed so i'm going to show you a little bit different there's uh, a lot of these we do over, but there's so much that you can do and so many different ways to put it together. It's nice to get a lot of ideas. And I'm going to add some oil to this on the back and come around this way and just cover the back. And you can see her rocking a little bit. That's fine because it shows that she's relaxing into it. Okay. Now I'm going to start up this time up here at the head. We're going to work the neck. We're going to start just running down. So there's that same type of thing on the floor. What you're going to find is there's just things that work for certain muscle groups and it's basically doing them over and over just with you in a different position, the person working in a different position. Are you okay? Is it? Okay. So we're stretching this neck down. Is that where it's most comfortable right there? Okay. Can breathe. Okay. So she's positioned herself a little bit different on these pillows to make it comfortable and all of that is fine. Sitting in a seated chair like this is not the most ideal but you can make it work and you can make it work well. And here I'm just brushing down this or thumb ironing down this uh, trapezius muscle. Now one of the things you're going to notice when they're sitting in a chair with their arms dropped down is there's it's like a pull coming through here because the gravity is taking things downward. So you're going to feel a little bit different types of tension through here. Not all of it is necessarily tension from stress. Some of it could be just the positional tension of the little bit of a pull from the arms. But we'll be dealing with that. Now I want to show you how to get into shoulders because this is really, you know, our lifestyles. We sit so much and we hunch over computers and drive and take a lot of stress out of the body that way. So here it's just a back and forth between the scapula and the spine. It, we're on the trapezius muscle but underneath there is rhomboids and we're going more in the direction of the rhomboids. A little bit more cross fiber on the trapezius. Oops. And then back over here I'm just kind of running up Okay, now from this back position you can get down and running right at the trapezius into that shoulder blade. I'm going to do both sides and then I'll do the shoulder blades and I'm going to show you a little bit more in the arms. Now here at the top if you want you can pull it back. Now here's where you're going to feel in a seated position much more tension but it's not necessarily going to be muscular tension. It's tension from the position of the arms. 
you'll notice there'll, there'll still be a sense of a lot of pliability. It's still going to feel very pliable. The muscle's going to feel soft and easily moved, even though there's that bit of a tension on it with the gravity and the position of the arms. So notice that difference. It'll be good to uh, notice that stuff, and that way you'll be able to define and, and figure out what's really going on. So if you feel muscle tension, it doesn't always mean that it's the muscle having tension. It sometimes is just the position and the pull. So always look for something where the muscle is more pliable and movable than uh, you know that you have a muscle that's still relaxed. That might help some of you to begin to interpret what the body's saying. There's a lot of subtle differences in how these things feel. And so it's important to get some distinction on on what what it is so you don't work into it unnecessarily or overwork it or omit it or whatever. Okay, now the scapula, as we were saying, is here's the end of the scapula here, rides up here, and it's coming around this way. So if we want to lift the scapula up on this, we're going to take this arm, and I'm just going to lock myself underneath here and lift it and then swing it back a little bit this way and be able to tuck my fingers underneath here. There we go. There's under the scapula. Now sometimes this is an uncomfortable position for people. So be careful. If you're going under the scapula, try not to have too long fingernails. And you can feel when you're under here, you can actually feel the muscle that's on the back side of the scapula, the subscapularis, and then working through. And you can see some redness where we work. That's just some stimulating some of the blood flow. And back up. And you can also do some work with the shoulder, rotating it up and back. Kind of a rotation back and forward. And you can move it back and forward. And back and forward. And this is kind of an upward and rounding momentum upward and rounding, and then let the arm come down. And when you do that, just carry their arms down. Don't drop them. And then we'll do this on the other side. Here's the scapula. Right here, there's the bone. Comes up and around. Kind of hard to distinguish there. And then we take the arm, same thing. Carry it up. And now this we're doing on the other side, so you have to kind of get ambidextrous here. And then you pull yourself under. This scapula is a little bit tighter for some reason. There we go. We're right underneath. You can work up, up on that. Underneath and up. This is a little odd angle for me. I could probably get under it a little better, but I, it would be in the camera's way. So we'll just... There's a broad hand going up. You can try it like that. And again, you, you want to apply just enough pressure that's going to get the job done and not too much to cause any harm. Okay, and then we can rotate the shoulder where you're holding, pulling it back and forward and back and forward and back and forward. You're taking that whole range of motion there. And then coming back up to the neck, pulling it all together, pull up we go, down to the center and then pushing upward along the spine there. And then you can also do something nice to the arms, is just give a little traction stretch on the shoulder. So it's traction, it's just a pull. Just a little traction. And it's really a pull where you're pulling more the uh, um, the fascial structures 
more than the uh, bone itself. The bone is moving, but you're you're actually pulling, so it's more of a traction of the soft tissue, the fascial structure, even the skin maybe. Think of stretching the skin. And then there we go, and carry that back down. And if you like, I don't use topotment very often, but sometimes a little topotment, you can, I like it with a wide finger and just uh, letting the fingers kind of, and I don't hit too hard. I don't know, sometimes topotment feels good. I, I really have not used topotment hardly ever. I think for me, I don't, I know because I don't like it myself being done on me. So what I don't like, I don't usually do, even though somebody might like it. Occasionally I get a request for it. So, but I find that this is very light, is, is kind of stimulating, and you can also do it like with fingertips. And just waking up these neck muscles and these shoulder muscles and give them a little bit of tender, loving care since they hold your head up most of the day. Okay, there we go. A different way of working the back from the uh, chair that you might have in, in your home. Thank you very much. Thank you.